Ladies, it's me, your girl Mary, and just quickly, I wanted to talk to you about the 2014 year of victory for women survivors of homicide. Oh yes, it is the year of victory for us. It is time for us to get up, get out, and start demanding services for women like you and me. Who is that? A woman survivor of homicide, she's a mother, she's a wife, she's a sister, a daughter, she's a next door neighbor, she's a grandmother, she's a woman who has witnessed violent crime that led into a fatality. That's who a woman survivor of homicide is. So I am quickly here just to say to you ladies, 2014 is the year of victory for women survivors of homicide. And I need you to join me. I need you to come and be a part of this great movement. What is this movement, you ask? This movement is women survivors of homicide refuse to sit back any longer and do nothing. Women survivors of homicide have been determined that they're going to demand services. What are services? Just briefly and quickly. Services can be day programs for survivors. Services can be women's groups. Services can be um, having insurance um, to, for, for a loved one who might have been involved in a crime and the parent doesn't have funds to bury that child. So those are services. Services are what else? Services are aromatherapy. Services are acupuncture. Services can be going back to school. There are so many things that women survivors of homicide deserve to have. You must remember, ladies, we did not ask to be here. Someone came into our world, took our loved one, and put us in this category that we never asked to be a part of. And you know what the sad thing is? We live in a world where people really don't even know about us. It is uh, generally a loved one is killed on the street, you funeralize them, it's talked about for a day, and then these women are left to fend for themselves. Well, I come to tell you that I'm tired of it. I come to tell you that I want more for women survivors of homicide. And I come to tell you, ladies, if we would just stick together, we could get this done. How could we do it? We could do it state by state. Every single state could have a captain, and we could work on demanding services in our own city halls, our state houses, all of our elected officials. We could work it out where we all could go and demand services around the same time and turn this into a movement. Ladies, we've got to do something. 2014 is tomorrow. Don't you know all next year, new women are going to become as we are. We'll never stop crying. But what we can do, we can minister and help other women survivors who have given up on life. Ladies, I'm asking you to please join me in 2014 for the year of victory. One way you can help me tonight is by calling a friend and asking that friend to go to Melvin's Mission's Facebook page, check it out, like the page, and then Next week, I will come on another show, and I will tell you ladies how we can get started from state to state. We can do this. Aren't you tired of not having anything? Aren't you tired of trying to figure out why you're depressed, why you're anxious, why all these things after your loved one's gone? You need better, and you deserve better. So I am asking you women, if you would help me in this movement, get on board. 2014, Year of Victory for Women Survivors of Homicide. Get on board with me and let us work out a plan where women survivors are going to receive needed services. We can do this, ladies. There are so many of us, and it's, it's sad to say that, but there are so many of us. And there are so many women who are sitting around and doing nothing with their lives. So I would say to you, 
Do as I did. I got fed up one day and I said, I cannot let this control me any longer. I got some help and I started feeling good about myself again. I started building my self-esteem up. And then next thing I knew, I was walking in the purpose for my pain. And you have a purpose for your pain. Something inside of you. There is a mission that every woman survivor of homicide has within her. Do you know what yours is? Do you know what your purpose is? I bet a lot of you do know your purpose for the pain. And you just don't have the nerve or the courage to step out on faith and do that thing. Well, let me be your example. I did it a year ago. I stepped out on faith and I walked this thing and I called it Melvin's Mission, Supporting Women Survivors of Homicide. And guess what? I'm doing pretty good, ladies, and you can do the same. So join me. How? Find a friend. Tell them to go to Facebook, Melvin's Mission. Ask them to like the page. And then next week, we'll talk again and we'll bring all this together and we'll start working from state to state. And we're gonna figure this out and we're gonna cause a movement all across the United States. People are gonna know about women survivors of homicides. And not only are they gonna know about us, they're gonna know that we need services, we want services, and guess what? We're gonna get our services. So I want to just say, please take this new year, women, and love yourself. Give yourself a pat on the back. You are wonderful, and you've done nothing wrong. You never asked for this. So love yourself. Find that courage within you to walk this victory year with me. And then, women, Stand, because if we stand together, we'll never be alone. We can do this. And I want to say one more thing. You know, I know a lot of women survivors, they've been hurt. You know, hurt by, by you know, others and, and, and promises and, 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 and agencies saying they're going to do this, they're going to do that, and then they don't follow through. But listen, we've got to take another chance if we want this to work. I ask you tonight... Take another chance and let's stand together as women survivors of homicide. We can do this. Please do it for yourself and then do it for all those other women who are getting ready to be as you and I are. Sadly, it's true, but we can make a difference. So women, I'm going to go. Before I do, I want to say to you all, Happy New Year. And I mean it from the bottom of my heart. And I hope that this year, every beautiful thing that you want will come true. Because you deserve it. You are a beautiful, beautiful creature. You're a woman. And you're going to go far. I just feel it. And I just know it. I feel, the, guess what? Right now I feel the victory in 2014. So women survivors of homicide, come on. Get on board. Let's do this. We can do this. Signing out now. Happy New Year. Be encouraged. Thank you. Bye-bye.